Hi guys, your boy Stone here. Welcome to this new Idiomatic Monday. Now, if you're new to my channel, every Monday I share with you guys two idiomatic expressions, their origin, their meaning, their equivalent in French, alongside some practical example of sentences using these expressions. Now, if you want to discover new expressions, new idiomatic expressions, or if you just want to know the origin of idiomatic expressions you already use, then I invite you to stick around and I promise you at the end of this video, you will be pretty much satisfied. Now, without further ado, let's discover today's brand new, exciting and enjoyable expressions. <music> Welcome once more, and now let's discover our idiomatic expressions. Our first idiomatic expression for today is to beat around the bush. Don't beat around the bush, Leonard! Now, if you beat around the bush, it means you avoid saying what you mean. Maybe you might avoid saying what you mean because you feel uncomfortable about it or you don't just know how to go about it. You don't just know how to say it, so you don't go straight to the point. You, 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 well, you don't go straight to the point. You beat around the bush. The, the French equivalent for this expression is tourner autour du pot, which will literally be translated into English to to turn around the pot, but you know how idiomatic expressions work. You don't translate them literally. They have equivalents. Now, the origin of this expression is traced back to the 15th century where Hunting was considered a sport, not that it's no more considered as a sport, but it was more considered as a sport back then, a sport for rich men. And these rich men would hire less rich people or poor people to beat the bush with the big sticks or with whatever they had to beat the bush and make the birds fly so as to make them easy to hunt. So these rich people will wait with their guns, I guess, with their guns and wait for the birds to fly so as to, to, to hunt them. And that's where the origin comes from. So today this origin is not related in no shape or form to its original meaning, but at least you know the origin and that's the most important, knowing the origin of the expressions we use every day. So now let's take a quick sentence, an example of a quick sentence using this expression. Stop beating around the bush and go on and tell me what you want to tell me. Arrête de tourner autour du pot et dis-moi ce que tu veux me dire. So that was a quick example. And as usual, I invite you to put your examples of sentences using this expression in the comment section below. And next Monday, I'll give a shout out to the best comments. Now let's take the next expression for today. Our second expression for today is the last straw that broke the camel's back. That's actually a shorter form for this expression, this contracted form. And the contracted form is simply the last straw. That's the last straw. That was the last straw. You guys are too nice. Yes, they contracted it for ergonomics, okay, to spare some words. But that's it. There are two forms for this expression. You can either say the last straw that broke the camel's back or the last straw. The French equivalent for this expression is la goutte d'eau qui a fait déborder le vase or la goutte d'eau qui fait déborder le vase. That's pretty, pretty much the same. The origin of this expression is traced back to the Middle Age. I guess long before you and I were born, unless you're some kind of mummy watching my video, which I guess you're not or which I hope you're not. So in the Middle Age and in the Middle East, People used to build their houses with straw. I guess even in Africa, that was, a, that was a trend, building houses with straw. There was this straw trade. So farmers would trade straw in exchange of maybe food or clothes. I, I don't know if there were even clothes by, that, by then. So they would trade straw and in exchange of something. So just like you, you would trade something today. So, and there was this greedy and very selfish farmer I guess there's always, there always has to be a, a, a wicked, a bad person in every story. So he loaded his camel with a huge quantity of straw. 
the camel was pretty much like tired, like overwhelmed. But at a certain point, he added a single straw. And that single straw that he added to the load proved too heavy, proved too heavy for the poor animal. And it collapsed. I would say he collapsed the camel and with a broken back. So its back was broken because of the load, because it was too heavy for, for, for him, for it. So that's where the expression, the expression actually comes from. So if something is the last straw that broke the camel's back, it means it is an element that actually came and made a situation and, and really messed up everything and really damaged everything and really and literally killed everything. Let's take an example of a sentence using this expression. You're late at work again. Okay, that's the last straw that broke the camel's back. You're fired. Tu es encore en retard au boulot? Ça, c'est la goutte d'eau qui fait déborder le vase. Tu es viré. Okay, guys, that's it. You have your two idiomatic expressions for this week. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't done that yet, also consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so as to stay notified for my future videos. Now, most importantly, do not forget to put your examples of sentences using these expressions in the comment section below. And see you next Monday for another Idiomatic Monday. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.